So hello YouTube. We're going to do a video on how to use the Summoner's War Optimizer. So what you do is you type swap into Google, then you find the first thing that says Summoner's War and you get this. This is the Summoner's War Optimizer. Um, then what you do, <laughs> hello YouTube, you click on this little thing to get your menu, you click on export import, then you click on choose file right here and you'll find the file you've imported. That's another video on how to get your, your file, your JSON file. But you import your JSON file, look it up, I'll do another one on that too. Then you hit import. It'll say, you've imported all this stuff. So for me, here is imported runes, 1066. Here's imported monsters, 671. Then you go over here and you've got all these different options. This one here that has a little violent rune is your runes. This shows all your runes. Um, the main thing you're going to do here is you're going to click on speed a lot to see how your fast runes are. These are my fast runes. You can sort by attack power. My most attack power rune is 38. My most flat attack rune is 56. My most defensive rune is what? 61. Oh, it's flat defense. Okay. I was like, holy moly. Most HP is 35%. Most defense percent is 36. Wow, Nemesis. I'm learning a lot. Most accuracy is 30. Yay. Most res, 25. Most crit rate is 24. And my most crit damage rune is 25. These are my runes, right? All right. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to be sorting by set. Here is set. You can pick your set. Blade, and it shows only my blade runes. And then I can click on blade, I can go click on speed, and I can find my fastest blade rune. That's pretty useful. Um, slot is very helpful. You can sort by slot. This is my fastest slot three blade rune. Um, it's really helpful for just finding stuff, but the game does a lot of this too, kind of. Um, you can designate the six star, you can designate which level, you can designate quality, which is really, really good for looking for reaps. So I'm going to hit legend, and I'm going to hit swift. And I'm going to get rid of Blade, and I'm going to get rid of Slot 3, and I'm going to say Stars, 6 Star. So these are my 6 Star Swift Legend Runes. Then, if you're looking for something to reapp, click on Type under Innate Stat, and these will say all the ones with Innate Stat. These are the best ones to reapp, Innate Stat Legend Runes. Swift, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so that's Rune. Um, this is the same thing, but with Gems and Grinds. I don't really use it for that. It doesn't seem very useful. Monsters, I use sometimes when I need to sort certain things, like what is my fastest monster? I click Speed. It is Bastet right now. What is my most effective HP, my tankiest monster? It's Ritesh, 319,000 effective HP. That's pretty good. What is my most efficiently rune monster? It is Teor, 95.88% efficiency. It's pretty good. So those are the ways you can sort over here. Okay, so that's monsters. You can also search by monster, which is really nice. Um, all that good stuff. If you get a new monster, but you don't want to re-upload uh, all your stuff, you can add the monster in in this screen and level it up to 40, which is pretty nice. So that's another feature. This is where your bread and butter is going to come into the optimizer. This is how you ruin your monsters. So we'll come back to that. The other thing I use is speed tune. This is really, really nice. It didn't used to be in the optimizer. So pick your bar boost. Mine is Bastet. Done. Pick your, let's make an AO, right? Pick your leader. It's going to be Sierra. Done. Now Sierra's here, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to have a bomber, because I like to bomb things. So I'm going to have Leebly. There's Leebly. And then I need a fourth monster. It's got to be a buff remover. So of course it is Triton, because I have not pulled a Tiana. So here's my team. You hit use lead. So my 24% speed lead is in use. And then you see if they're speed tuned. Bastet speed loon is two, speed uh, is 297. Her speed minimum is 297. That's fine. My next monster is Triton. He's at 262. He needs to be 253 to not get cut, okay? So the Triton is speed tuned because he is within the minimum, right? Then I go down to Leebly. My Leebly speed is 241. He needs to be 252 to not get cut. So technically he could get cut. Go down to Sierra. Sierra needs to be 252. Sierra is 240, so Sierra could get cut. The game doesn't take into account that Triton pushes back attack bar. Um... So probably they're not going to get cut if he pushes back, but it's possible. So that's what speed tuning does. You need that a decent amount of the time when you're making an AO. Um, okay, let's go back to the optimizer. So you're going to pick a monster. I want a rune Bastet. So I hit a B, I get Bastet. My set, I'm going to pick Swift. Pick whatever you want. For slot two, I'm going to pick Speed. You want to give the optimizer as much information as you know you want. Um, it makes it run faster. So I pick Swift, I hit Speed. I make sure that no broken sets is unchecked if I want broken. If I don't want broken, I check it. I usually don't check used grinds. I usually don't exclude certain sets. That doesn't really matter. 
I don't simulate fully grinded runes because that's not that's not reality. Then you click on your focus. All I care about is speed. That is all I care about. Um, then I'm going to hit optimize, and it's going to give me all the different combinations of my runes that can make really fast things. The other thing you want to look at is where it says actual stats. That is the runes I currently have. You can also click on plus 15, so it will imagine that you have the mana to plus 15 all your runes. It's worth it sometimes when you're comparing very similar builds. Okay, so here's all the things I can do. So now I can sort by anything I want. HP, attack, defense, speed, all the way down. I'm going to sort by speed because that's all I care about. I have, wow, one build that's 297. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. That can't be right. Aha, it's not right because the options say use only runes from inventory and I have that checked. That's kind of gross that I have that option available in my inventory. I'm going to uncheck that because I want to use all my runes for this. Let's do it again. We're re-optimizing. About 182k builds, it says. It's thinking, it's thinking, and here we go. Now I have a whole bunch of choices at 297 speed. I can't go faster than that using any rune I have. <laughs> using every rune I own, it's very sad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the differences between these different choices. So for speed, I'm going to hit 297 as my minimum in this bar here. I'm going to hit apply, and it's going to eliminate everything that's slower than 297. Then I can sort by maybe accuracy I care about. I can get a build that's 297 with 32% accuracy. That's pretty good. I can click effective HP to get the tankiest build possible. That, that is the build I currently run, is the tankiest build possible. I can sort by efficiency to get the most efficient rune possible. And it is this one here, slightly more efficient. Where is it getting more efficient? More crit damage and a little more attack and a little less HP. So that's how that works. Um, you pick it and then what you do, so I'm gonna, I think, do I want the accuracy one actually? This is actually a bit of a choice. I think it's gonna use a broken will rune though. Yeah, so see when I hover over it, it says where the runes come from. Um, this has a will rune in it in a broken set, I don't want a broken set will rune, you know? Like, that's awful. Will is great, and I need that rune really badly, so I don't want that. I'm going to click back on speed. Actually, let's do effective HP, because I think that'll give me the same build I was just on. So this is the build I was just on, but you can see it's all Bastet. It's on Bastet, 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 which is great. If you want to save it for later, click on this little pit push pin, and it'll save it up here, and then maybe I want to save this one for later. Okay, so now I can compare these two push pins. Um, and re-optimize for Bastet. So I'm like, okay, I try to switch with this stat. Maybe I'll build a violent Bastet, push pin it, and compare them and see what I think. So that's what the push pins are for. It's really nice. Um, but I know I'm going to pick this one because it's easy. It doesn't break a will set. That's what I like. So here shows all my stats, shows the slots. I'm going to hit lock runes up here to lock them so that all my future builds will not use those runes. I want Bastet to have complete control of those runes. I don't want this thing to ever search those runes ever again. So then I go back to Optimizer. For all my future searches, I'm going to click this box that says ignore locked runes even if equipped on this monster. That'll prevent you from screwing things up. If you take a rune off Perna to put it on whoever, and then you later optimize Perna, it will give Perna that rune that you've already assigned to someone else. So always click ignore locked runes even if equipped on this monster. I've optimized an entire team without that clicked and it's very sad. So that's what you want to do. Then you go to your next monster. You can optimize whatever you want. So I tend to go by sets. Um, so maybe I'll optimize my next swift set. So let's do Okeanos. He's going to get my next swift set. So I've got speed, swift, 297. I think he can hit that actually. I think he can. So let's try. I think my second swift set can hit that. Maybe I'm completely crazy. We'll see. Uh, nope, I am completely crazy. Let's try 290. Got to re-optimize. 198k. That's pretty good. Oh, but it says builds found 18. So the fastest I can build my second swift set on Okeanos is 291. T speed, defense, and defense flat. Hmm... What do I think about that? I don't know. So if I push pin this, my old Okeanos is here. This is the one he used to be on. He was 70% accuracy, which was great, but he's 286, so he's five speeds slower. Um, he had more tankiness. He has more tankiness on this faster build, but his accuracy suffers. So what do I think about that? I don't know. That's where your personal preference comes into play, right? So then I would decide what I want, lock it in, and then go on to my next monster.
So that's kind of how the optimizer works. Um, it just takes a little bit of practice. You you want to optimize like all your monsters, and then when it comes time for free rune removal, you just click down the line of everybody you've optimized and fix them in game, and then you're done, and that's it. So that is the optimizer. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go back to streaming now and stop recording. So enjoy the video, everybody. Take care.